हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल ए एन क्रिएशन सो फ्रेंड्स टुडे आई विल शेयर द डेथ ऑफ क्वीन एलिजैथ कैनेडा बिकैम लेस ब्रिटिश ड्यूरिंग हर रीजन द डेथ ऑफ क्वीन एलिजैथ द लॉन्गेस्ट रीगनिंग मोनोरेक एंड इन ब्रिटिश हिस्ट्री मार्क्स द एंड ऑफ एन एरा फॉर कैनेडा एलिजैथ witnessed the opening of the ST Lawrence Seaway in 1959 the expansion of Canada's social programs in the 1960s the Quebec referendums in 1980 and in 1995 free trade agreements with the United States and father and son prime minister in 1982 she signed the pro proclamation that repatriated the constitution ending the rule of the british parliament in canada's affairs during her long reign canada became dramatically less anglophone and anglophile nearly half of canadians were of british and sectary when she assumed The throne in 1952, but that decreased to one third in 2016 and continues to decline. In the 1950s, high school students across English Canada waved the Union Jack, sang the royal anthem, "God Save the Queen," said the Lord's Prayer, and cheered cadet cops dressed in British khaki. Elizabeth. said the replacement of the union flag by the maple leaf in 1965 and the real anthem by o canada in 1980 over seven decades alice beth successfully transitioned from embodying the key tradition and beliefs of many to a warmly regarded but not particularly significant figure in the lives of canadians She remained personally popular in Canada although she spent relatively little time about 200 days in the country over visits that average one every 3 year Let's go inshallah we will meet again in the next video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe take care stay with me will remember in prayer and bye